I think, you know, the reason why I came with the business, when I launched in 2006, I created world-class driving in the U.S. that gave a chance to people to drive five exotic cars. It was very unique, very exclusive. I think the next step, as you know, Formula One is becoming bigger in the U.S. You will have a Formula One team next year. There is a fantastic racetrack in Austin, Circuit of the Americas. So I think it makes sense to give a chance to American people to drive a Formula One car. You had two world champions, Philil, Mario Andretti. Uh, I think, you know, uh, we organized two days, two days ago at Circuit of the America, and now there is 42 more people who drove a Formula One car. I think uh, it's just to do something that you have the impression that it's not possible, but it is. And from novice to connoisseur, I had a lot of happy customers who had a chance to drive a Formula One car. Jean-Paul, describe the cost and how someone would go from the desire to actually the driving. First of all, as I just said, novice to connoisseur have the ability. We make them or we give them the ability to drive the car. And I, and I tell you, two days ago it was a challenge because it was raining in Austin. But despite of the rain, we made it happen with all those people. Uh, I think... Uh, you know, the, the way we approach it, um, of course, you know, by nature or by essence, Circuit of the America is the right place to drive a Formula One car. But we will also organize a tour to the U.S. when we will visit different kind of racetrack, either Monticello, a New Orleans, a Thermal, uh, and, and others, where we will give a chance to people or their members to drive a Formula One car. But more importantly, by driving a Formula One car with us, you will become a member of our Pirelli GP Drivers Club that will give you a chance to come back to do more laps and ultimately to drive the Williams FW33 that we just acquired. They are two years old cars with the latest uh, techni technology. Uh, and, you know, that will be a sort of escalation to come back. And ultimately, if people really want, we can sell them a Formula One car and we can maintain it. All right. Now, let's say you don't necessarily want to buy the Formula One car. You just want to buy the experience. Give us a price range of how much something like this would cost. It's basically start in the range of 6000 up to $10,000. Of course, people who want to do more laps, uh, we have uh, different kind of packages that we will offer to the people. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a full experience. Uh, of course, that experience comes with the briefing, with the coaching, with all the race gear that you need, and with memories, because we provide you all the video just to show to your friend that you drove a Formula One car. Because, you know, uh, we were joking with the people who drove with us two days ago, but, you know, if you come back to the office and you say you just drove a Formula One car, basically people believe that you are joking. But we give them all the tools to share with their family, friends, and colleagues that they made it. Now, uh, Jean-Paul, you have also participated in uh, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. I'm wondering uh, if that's going to be next for uh, potential drivers. What's that experience like? Uh, you know, Le, Le Mans is endurance racing. When I was racing in Le Mans, you know, which was in the 80s and, and 90s, it's very different than today because endurance cars, you know, um, in Le Mans it's, are very, um, uh, have a different uh, technology than in the past. But when I was racing Le Mans, you know, as an entrepreneur, because I was involved in sponsorship for many years, uh, it was a great experience uh, because it was an endurance race. And uh, people who probably watch uh, Steve McQueen in Le Mans movie, uh, that was the kind of feeling and experience you got. I had the chance to, to race three times with Ferrari in Le Mans, and I won the Group B with a BMW M1. It was a great experience. Le Mans has changed. The cars who race now in Le Mans are very different than in the past. Technology-wise, you know, when I was racing, you had 55 cars starting the race and 18 cars finishing. Today, you have 55 cars starting the race and 42 finishing the race. So Jean-Paul, a... one quick question. Give you 10 seconds. What was your first automobile? What was your first car? Uh, my first car was a Fiat, you know, a, a small Fiat 850 Abarth uh, Spider. That was my first car when right. I was 10 years old. Yeah.